let's go ahead and take a look at how to answer 7.2.23. Here we're looking at the normal distribution, again, of some variable. The mean is 50, and the standard deviation is 7. And so to calculate the probability that some value would be greater than 39, um, it would be nice to first to look at what the normal curve would look like with those values in there. And one way to answer that would be through stat crunch again using the normal calculator. So this is what it would look like, stat calculators normal. And so in this case, the mean is 50, standard deviation is 7. And we're looking for the probability that x is greater than 39. And so we put 39 here, greater than the symbol here. And so we get 0.94. This is what the normal curve would look like with the standard deviation here, 50 and up by 7. So what we know is 94% of the data would have a value greater than 39. Or if you randomly selected a value from this population, the probability that it's greater than 39 would be 94% approximately. And then to look at 7.227, this between question. Again, all these could be answered with the, the Z table, but using the normal calculator is easier. Again, given that same situation, what's the probability that the values are between 34 and 60? Or what percent of the population is between 34 and 60? And so you'd put 34, you would put 60 here, compute, and again using those tick marks with uh, measuring off one and two, three standard deviations, you can see 91% or approximately 91% of the values are between 34 and 60.